Well, today marks 38 years since the space shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff from Cape Canaveral. All seven crew members on board were killed, including the first civilian chosen for a space mission, school teacher Krista McAuliffe. The space shuttle Endeavour was built as a replacement for Challenger, and it's again making news. CBS's Elise Preston is in Los Angeles with more on that. Good evening, Elise. Good evening to you, Jerika. Endeavour will soon be the only space shuttle displayed like it's ready for launch. The mission to move the spacecraft has a margin of error of less than an inch. More than a decade after its final flight home to Southern California, Endeavour is now covered in protective shrink wrap and waiting to be lifted by a 450-foot crane and reattached upright to its giant orange fuel tank and twin rocket boosters. It's very challenging. This is the, the only place in the world that there will be a full space shuttle stack of all real hardware. And liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavour. Endeavour blasted into orbit in 1992, and its 25 missions included many firsts, repairing the Hubble telescope, putting Mae Jemison, the first black woman astronaut, into space, and adding a U.S. component to the International Space Station. In 2011, after more than 120 million miles flown, it came home for good. In 2012, Endeavour hitched a ride to Hollywood on a Boeing 747 and spent three days inching its way through Los Angeles to the California Science Center. If the weather holds, Monday it will be in its new museum home, the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. Why do you do what you do? I absolutely love it. Um, it's about inspiring the next generation of scientists, engineers and explorers. Now, once Endeavour is in place, a 20-story museum addition will be built around it. But it'll take a few years before it is open to the public. Jerika? All right, Elise Preston for us in Los Angeles. Thank you.